Hello, this is Coach Snyder. We're gonna be making an ice cream pie. A favorite in my house growing up, my mom made this ice cream pie for all three of us boys uh, on our birthdays. We tried to get her to make it more, but it usually became a birthday tradition. So let's give it a shot. Briar's ice cream was always a favorite, vanilla or van vanilla bean, whatever it is, but something vanilla. And depending on how uh, firm your ice cream is, this is actually pretty good. Um, but we're gonna dump it out here. Take it straight out of the carton, but you probably gotta get it a little more, a little softer to throw it directly into the pot. Just stir it up, get it good and soft, or you can manipulate it. Oreos, and 20 to 30 Oreos is what I was, was told, but you can go with a little bit more. We're just gonna use the Oreos to coat the, basically create a pie crust with the Oreos. So we're gonna take the Oreos, as you can see, there's a few that have been picked off here. That's what happens around this place. But we're gonna throw the Oreos just into a blender so we can uh, chop them up. I guess you can crumble them in your hands any way you wanna do it. So really just to chop up the Oreos. All right. I think that's about right. We don't wanna get them too, uh, maybe a chunk or two in there for good measure. And so we put the Oreos in this bowl. So once we get the, uh, the Oreo crumbs, Butter, okay? And the same thing with the Oreos. Can't go too much butter, even if you like butter. But we don't want melted butter. You can help it melt its butter than hard butter. And just start to blend the Oreos in with the butter. We want the butter just to bring the Oreos together a little bit so we can form the crust. So one other thing we can do to kind of help the process, especially if we get stuff sticking, is just to dive in and uh, haven't made bread much in my life, but whatever it is, if you're used to manipulating dough. Kneading Oreos. Yeah, we're basically kneading our Oreos. We're gonna transfer the Oreos into the pan to, to make the crust, but before we do that, let's just take a little bit of a stick of butter and start to grease the pan. And then take the, uh, take the Oreos, move it around a little bit, Try to distribute it so we can bring the crust on the sides too. And then start to just smash it around. The kids were around, they like to help with this part. We'll try to build it up on the sides of the pan. This will harden up, so don't have to worry too much about it being perfectly equal. Ice cream, just kind of softening up a little bit. And then we're just gonna drop the ice cream into the Oreo crust. Move it around a little bit. One carton ends up being pretty close. So it's not real difficult to remember. A stick of butter, a gallon of ice cream, 20 to 30 Oreos. I'm sure there's a decorative part of this that I don't know about. Once we get that fine mixture together, we pop it in the freezer. And if your freezer is as packed as everybody's is right now, takes longer because things get warmer, but anywhere from four to six hours, just so you get the ice cream cold, pop it in there. Be overnight if you want to get prepared early. Just need the ice cream to freeze and get harder. Here we go. Final step. Some of you may be familiar with Magic Shop. Probably gets a bad rap at our practice facility. I don't know if this is on the, uh, it's probably banned, on the banned list. But right on top, and it looks a little crazy, but it'll do, do the trick. And what you're gonna get is, it's gonna harden up. And you're gonna have a nice little top shell. It's not quite like meringue. And our ice cream isn't quite cold enough where you'd see the magic shell uh, get a little harder a little quicker. Yeah, don't, don't be deceived that if it, if it doesn't look as, as pretty and appetizing, um, it's really not, not important. It tastes good. And thanks again for joining us on the We All Don't Want to Go Back to Quarantine Cookbook.